What's up, officer? What's up with this guy? He's got a little... Hey. Looks like he was at the beach or something. Hey! Look at this guy! What did he get brought in for? Take a good look. Uh, violation of straining Take order and drunk look at this guy. And all I do, I pay my taxes, I work hard, and these guys want to have nothing better to do but spoil my fun. I pay to live at the beach, and this is what I get. So you have a straining order for somewhere at the beach? It's a joke, man. You guys are trying to intervene in every part of my life. You're trying to inter intervene in every part of my life. He told us he was released last night from custody. You just got out last night? Did you bail out? No, you guys let me out. That's your system. Come on, Derek. Stand up. Go ahead and right over there. Take your freaking photo. You've done this before, obviously. Who do this custody? Right over here. That's a man. Sure. I've never seen one. What's up? Just pay attention my, to the camera up there. My, my bad. Do I stutter? Do I speak English? There. You want to go home, right? This way. It happens daily. You Where am I get, going home? You, you guys are gonna be in my face. Stay back there. Yeah, man. let's do this. Look at the Look camera. At this. I'm on the beach trying to have a good time. There. This is where it goes. Look at the camera so you can call a bail bond and get up. <laughs> call nobody. Who am I gonna call you, mom? Yeah. Try it. It don't hurt. I don't feel it. I don't feel it. There. What do you want to do? Alright, talk down. Let's do this. Let's do this. Uh, Alright. We're going there. Can we have processing 87 forensics and can we have some deputies come out uh, with a gurney to forensic, please? Uh, You know a deal right from here on out? You're gonna behave yourself? Mm -hmm. You're gonna give us any problems, right? Mm -mm. I'm not resisting. Two, three. Ah! Oh. No, he's here for a violation of restraining order. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I'm just gonna take him over the I wanna press charges! Derek, you need to calm down. Stop wrenching! Stop wrenching on the wrist. I break it. I as well. You break my wrist. Uh Derek's showing he's a little assaultive, so we're gonna put a spit sock on him right now. We're gonna take him up for a sobering cell placement. Oh my god. This is intense, guys. This is really intense. Just turn me over, beat me. That's what it takes. Beat me. One, One two, three. Take your head out, dude. Slam your head down. You can feel my arms. Derek, you're gonna stay on the ground until you hear the door close. Stay like this until you hear the door close. Sir, we'll call it uh, 926, force used. Uh, while we were taking Derek to forensics, he uh, made like a movement towards Deputy Madsen. I took it as a sign he was gonna try to assault or charge him and fight him in some way, so we just decided it'd be easier if we put him on the ground and handled it from there. We brought him upstairs and put him in the sobering cell and, you know, the fight's out of him now. jail for about seven and a half years now and I like dealing with different people different situations every night keeps you on your toes keeps you making sure that you know what you're doing and that you're expecting different things and so you always have to be watching and being careful of what's going on and making sure that you're paying attention to everything that's around you at all times Apparently they just brought in a combative individual and they're not quite sure if it's a male or female. Classification was having trouble with it, so we're going to go see what it's all about. Okay, then. Facility Officer Ariza, landline 21. 
So is that a male or female? I have to take uh, the gentleman or lady back there, find out what we're dealing with. We have to do a strip search. Find out if that's a boy or a girl. So. Yeah, it does look very man. You have to go behind the curtain and find out. Well, looking here on the computer, we're looking it up, and this is a questionnaire that's been taken from our classification section before. Right here, what is the sex of the inmate? It says male, 100%. So we have to assume that, you know, he is a male, although in the computer system in another part it says that he's a female. So there's kind of the both of the things going on. So we'll, we'll check it out and see what we can do to clarify that uh, 100%. 100%. So are we going to do a full strip? Yeah, we'll have to do a full strip. Okay. Strip on her. She told me that uh, that everything was uh, surgically removed. That she's 100% female. I tag saying 100% male. Do the strip search, verify, see what, see what she is. According to classification, if she's 100% female, they'll house her in a female tank. OK. Because I think the last time she was here, they housed her in PC, male. PC. Yes. How long um, ago was that? Um, I think May. May? Yeah, it really hasn't soon. really hasn't been that long. Professionally, girls strip out girls, boys strip out boys. If it turns out that it is a male, I'll stop the search and ask my partner to cover for me and take over. Corner. So I don't please. And the system says male. So I have to do a strip search. Oh, that'll fuck change. So you're completely a female. You know, it could be a mistake. She's in the yeah. part of the strip search now where oh. she's now completely naked, oh. so okay. looks like it probably is a girl. She stayed back there. So the operation must have been completed. female. All right, come on back over and have a seat. Go ahead and have a seat. Yeah, absolutely. So when you came here in May, where were you housed? Um, actually, I, um, they Hold actually right here. Move your hands. Move your hands. I got it. Uh, I, was, I was sat there because they didn't have anywhere to put me. So what is this, DUI number two, number three? Yeah. Three? I was just sitting in the parking lot at Target and not even driving, and the officer just passed by me and flashed his lights. And I was talking on the cell phone to my husband, and I had my head down like this. And he did, he, did the officer think you were sleeping? Or? I, have, I have no idea. But he made me get out of my vehicle, and he, I had, of course, I had an open container. And so he made me do the whole test and all that stuff. And I pretty much passed the visual and the standing up and all that stuff. And he made me blow into the. The brother, the brother yeah, life. and I failed that, so yeah. All right, come on up here, and we're going to have you sign for your paperwork. Okay. This one is for uh, cash. Okay, we're going to walk this way. We're going to go into the next room. Okay. See, the issue that I'm having, well, we have to house you back here so we get you classified, is that our computers have you listed as a male. Okay. Okay. Why is that? But I believe Scope, is, Scope has her as a female. Yeah, DMV had her as a female. And I Why believe Scope I is. I don't understand. I don't know. In the classification questions from one of the times you were here before, it that's what it says. And so that's why we're that's why we're asking all these questions and, and going through all this. Okay, yeah. yeah. I, so we're just double checking. I, I, I'm transsexual, I've had a sex change. Okay. I've, were you, were you ever arrested pre surgery? No. So it's always been after the surgery yes. that you've come in here? Yes. Yeah, any other facilities? No, I've only been arrested here in Las Vegas. How long ago did you actually have the surgery? Oh, Since 1995. 1995? Mm -hmm. yeah. All right, we're going to have a seat inside here real quick. Okay. Here you go. Yes, yeah, sir. I just want to make sure we have you housed appropriately. You know what I mean? Okay. 
You don't have any enemies in jail, nothing like that? No, I don't know anyone here. Besides you guys. You know, you have to kind of feel sorry for her for having to go through all of this, but ultimately it's for her own safety that we house her in the appropriate place.